know how to hand catch a drone it's actually pretty simple and if you know what you're doing the chances of you getting hurt are very low now this will be great for a Phantom 4 Phantom 4 Pro Phantom 3 you can also do it on an Inspire 2 if you have someone grab opposite ends of the drone itself but you probably will need two people now you can also hand catch a spark and you can hand catch a Mavic but with a Mavic it's really tough you want to make sure you have nothing on your hands whatsoever because you're essentially going to be grabbing it. You've got to do it rather quickly and I really wouldn't recommend it for most people. In fact, I'm not going to talk about it. Is, it. is it possible? Yes. Should you do it? Chances are no. So whenever you're on a boat, you're over water, you are flying over land, it's windy outside, you don't want to have a tip over, this is the time when you would want to do a hand catch. So how do you do a hand catch? Well, if we're flying a Phantom, you essentially want to grab the drone right about here when it's coming down. You want to have it in your right hand, and you want to have your remote in the left hand. You, I See, I recommend if you are hand catching a drone, you are going to want to bring the drone so it's facing into the wind. So if the wind pushes the drone, it pushes it towards you, and you can just grab it right out of the air. It's not moving away from you. Because if you're on a boat and the drone moves away from you, you're going to be stepping into the water with a controller in your hand. Never a good idea. So you want to be facing into the wind. You're going to grab the Phantom. Okay, you're gonna grab the Phantom, and what you're gonna do is you're essentially going to flick the left stick all the way down. Now, here's the key. When you flick the left stick, you wanna go straight down. You don't wanna go left or right. You don't wanna move it about. You wanna go straight down. Now, if you have someone to help you, and they're hand catching your drone, good news. If they grab with two hands and they go straight down past 90 degrees, the drone will actually stop itself. It's a new safety feature in the drone. It's pretty cool. But if you also have someone hand catching the drone and you didn't teach them about this, guess what? One more thing. What you can do is actually go down and in on the stick and hit the return to home button. Notice that sound is a little bit different from this sound. Notice the difference in sound? All right, so if we're gonna actually kill the motors, it's gonna be down and in, boom, I'll kill the motors, okay? Super simple. All right guys, so that's how you hand catch a drone. Super simple, fly into the wind, same orientation as the drone, bring it back to you, hand catch with your right hand, and then use your left hand, left stick, straight down to kill the motors. Super simple. If you wanna learn this and so much more information, check out our Don't Crash course. It's really awesome, and they have different Don't Crash courses for different drones, so they are drone specific. And the level and depth of information that you'll find in those courses is much better than you'll find anywhere else. So that's it for how to hand catch a drone, and this is another Drone U Hacks video. See you next time.